The animal at number one in our countdown of extreme bloodsuckers is one of the world's most annoying creatures. There are 850 species of these specialized vampires, and one of them lives in the Kalahari Desert. It's been waiting for four long years, buried in the sand under the shade of an acacia tree. It's just a matter of time until a large mammal uses the tree as a sunshade, and that's when it launches its attack. Scuttling in to number one in the countdown is the tick. This tampan tick is an eight-legged relative of the spider with an incredible lust for blood. Some species may only be a few millimeters long, but they will crawl more than 18 meters as they run down their host. Like all its kind, the tampan tick tracks us down by following a trail of carbon dioxide, ammonia, and body heat. Ticks select the best place to feed by sensing heat from the blood vessels closest to the surface. Then they drink. The tick is the most extreme blood sucker in the countdown because it can drink 600 times its body weight in blood. Imagine if we could drink like a tick. We would need to swallow the contents of a swimming pool. That's more than 38,000 liters of blood. There is one man who came close to sucking up blood like a tick. Paul Montague set an unusual record in London back in 1999. He almost broke the Bank of England, the blood bank. The story begins when Paul was out on his bicycle. He stopped for a red light but a truck in the same lane didn't. Paul was so badly crushed that he was losing a cupful of blood with every heartbeat. A human can only lose about two liters or 40% of the blood in the body before it shuts down. But luckily, help was at hand. Doctors kept Paul alive by pumping in blood lots of blood. By the time doctors managed to stop the bleeding, Paul had received more than 200 liters of blood. The story has a happy ending because Paul survived his ordeal and even married his nurse. Those bitten by ticks are usually not so lucky. Even the king of the beasts falls prey to the most extreme bloodsucker in the countdown. The lion's only defense against ticks is its tongue, because if a tick finds a spot that can't be licked, it can latch on for several days. In addition to mouth parts that are like barbed hypodermic needles, some ticks have salivary glands that secrete a cement-like substance which literally glues the feeding tick in place. Only when its body has expanded to several hundred times its normal size